How familiar are you with SAP RDS solutions? I've never heard of them. I've had some exposure, but not enough. I'm familiar with RDS and would like updates. So the majority of the audience, 80%, has had some exposure, but not enough. And the other 20% is familiar with it and would like updates. Uh, that's, a good, that's a good answer. Uh, very interesting. So it means like SAP marketing is reaching out to people. That's a good start. Um, so really, let's let's go a little bit back on onto what is what is a what is an RDS? Why it happens? Um, the next step is I think where people really start to have questions, at least from my discussions with a lot of people as as an SAP mentor or as a chairman of the management area accounting. So where do you find them? And most importantly, which ones are relevant? Because there's tons of them, and and it's very hard to find your way out of it. Um, so. The real key to it, why SAP went uh, into that, that type of a mode, is because traditional projects failed. 50% of them are, are just not good on cost, on cost duration of scope. So they either take longer than expected, or um, the costs exceed the budgets of 50%, so half of them. And they don't even work, right? So fail to realize some benefits of 50 or more. And usually, uh, people are unsatisfied, either the management or the employees themselves. So a lot of work has to be done in order to guarantee that what SAP has done is to really try to focus on three things. The first one is speed, right? Everybody knows any project that's longer than a handful of weeks is not a project anymore. It's a problem, right? So what we need is faster solution deployments, really. It has to be agile because there is always a need to be flexible between what SAP recommends and what my company needs. So there's always a little difference between the 